Hey guys, welcome back to Ghost Trick. This is TJ Gamer Girl signed on. So, last episode, we did Chapter 8, and we kept Detective Jowd from being executed for a while longer by blowing up an old electric chair that they haven't used in god knows how long. So now we're on Chapter 9. Now I'm back in the present, and it's completely shrouded in darkness. I can't see it, but I can feel the tension in the air. It's a state of emergency. And that's only natural. With the power failure, all the cell bars open automatically. Plus, now a death row inmate is loose in the darkness. I did what I promised Lynn. I stopped the execution. But that condemned criminal is now in just as much danger as before. It wouldn't surprise me if they would... If they, like, try to shoot him on sight. The darkness is thick, but it can also be our friend. For right now, it's what Detective Jowd is hiding himself in. The detective is alright in this blackness. Better find him. Fast. Come to think of it, he gave me some advice. Head for the spoon, he said. Wonder what that's all about, well... The tech told, told me to head for the spoon when I got back to the present. So here I am. The bell. Gotta better go back. Phew. I'm back. My goodness, I want to flush this toilet. That was good timing. Now to use the cover of help to cover of darkness to help the detective escape. But first I have to find him. It's prisoner C seventy four. Secure the prisoner. Hmm. Looks like there were hunters in this darkness. Hope they haven't found Detective Jout. This is some true darkness. But luckily, darkness doesn't exist in the ghost world. I can make use of that to help me find the detective. Huh? What's that red light? Hmm. Looks like the hunter's eyes glow red. Doesn't look like escape is gonna be easy. <sighs> there. Oh, there you are. I was wondering what I was going to do. You the one who made that toilet bell rain? That's right, I still had another napkin lying around. Thanks to that, I managed to get to make it here, but how'd you know to do that? I learned a few things about your ghost tricks during our time together. They certainly can be very useful powers, but at times, not so much. I knew that if the internal phones weren't working, you'd be trapped in the death chamber area. So I quickly came up with an alternate route. A route that made use of sausage heads, spoon, and my napkin. Wow, this detective is good. Next time you praise me, you can go ahead and say it out loud. Anyway, it looks like it's time for a strategy meeting. An escape strategy, huh? Should This could be interesting. Let's do it. So let's make sure we're both clear. The key to my escape is this darkness. Once the basement power supply is restored, escape will be impossible. So we move under the cover of darkness, huh? I know I won't have much trouble with that, but I'm afraid I won't be able to see, so you'll have to lead the way. Lead the way? Once you find a safe spot for me to move, I want you to give me a signal. Okay, fine, but how? The dead don't have voices. Even if they did, we have to be quiet. 
Don't worry about that. I have an idea. Let's just try it and you'll see how it works. This detective likes to just dive right into things, even more than Lynn does. If they find me, I imagine they'll shoot first and ask questions later. But if I die again, we can just start over, right? He says cheerfully. I don't know if you know it or not, but this is a special prison. There aren't any dangerous criminals here. Except for me, that is. Yes, I did hear something about it being a special place. Yes, and because of the special status, they're not prepared for, at all for emergencies. They have four timid security guards at most. I think I saw some hunters looking in the darkness, though. Those are the guards. They're wearing night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? They're special glasses that let you see in the dark. Very handy things. If I enter their field of vision, it's all over. So it's all about staying out. The oh no, an escort mission! Make sure you guide me to the safe spots. Now, about that signal I want you to give me. Oh yeah, how am I supposed to do it? I've already been dead once. I don't know if it's because of that or what, but I can sense your powers now. You what? For example, you're in the bunk right now, aren't you? Wow, I'm impressed. I guess you have a sixth sense. I think it's more like a detective sense. Yeah, that doesn't sound right somehow. Anyway, the details don't matter. Do you see this icon here? Yeah, where'd that come from? Let's use it as our signal. How will that work? If you touch the icon, I'll sense it. Then I'll move to where you are. So for example... If you move to that spoon and touch the icon, I'll run to the spoon. Simple, right? Alright, fine. Let's start our escape plan. Just make sure you guide me to safe spots, Sissel. Oh no. It's that red light. That's the light of night vision goggles on one of the guards. I can use the light and let me know where the guard is. And if you watch the light closely, you can tell how the guard is moving too. It's very informative in this darkness. Keep a sharp eye out for it. Okay. Guards are on the move. Now what? You can get a sense of how the guards are moving by watching the red lights. And I think you already know this, but just in case. If you want to take a look around, slide the screen. Oh boy. Oh boy. Going up the stairs.
He doesn't even go all the way! What just happened? Apparently there was a hunter looking in the ceiling. Could you do something about him? There's a hunter ceiling. Gonna go back to his You have no my no idea how much fun that is. Is 
area under the stairs are a blind spot for the guards. Then we'll find them here. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure. Go, go, go. Okay, next is the stairs. I have to avoid those guards somehow. Where should I lead you to? There isn't a safe spot anywhere. We'll just have to wait till the guards are somewhere on the stairs. Let's go past somewhere on the stairs. Even the craziest spot will do. The strength that you worry about, I have plenty of that. Can you use that strength to knock the guards out for me? Well, they do say my punches are faster than a speed speeding bullet. I have my doubts about that, though. Yeah, I guess punches no match for a bullet. That guy's just gonna keep falling down. Dude, how much does it take to knock you the hell out? Go need to close. Otherwise, uh... There we go. Are you kidding me? Alright. 
What, you want me to climb up into the ceiling? I think I could manage that. Right up. So he's gonna fall down. Again. Holy poly. Okay. Um. guy is constantly it's bottom <laughs> draw the ball
I came all that way. We were so close. Where am I? Okay. Turn them all. Okay, you're gonna have to wait. Go, 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 go. So, what do you think? I'd say if, we, if we've come this far, we did it. Great job, Sissel. <sighs> the basement generator has been repaired, restoring the power to all areas. Run. Whew, we just made it. But the question is, what now? I don't have anywhere to go, do I? Maybe I'll go back to my cell. You better be kidding. But I'm still a condemned criminal, you know. I doubt anybody would welcome me with open arms. Why don't you try contacting Lynn? She went to see the Justice Minister guy. So an escaped death row convict is supposed to just report into the Justice Minister, is that it? Hmm, kinda like that. Anyway, after all the trouble you went through, I guess I'd better run. That would be nice, yes. <laughs> Alright, Sissel, until we meet again. So now I've saved a condemned criminal's life. Was it really the right thing to do? I guess all I can do is believe in Lynn at this point. Detective Jowd was painting my picture in this cell. He knows me. I'm sure I'll be talking to him again. Next with Jowls until we meet again came around quicker than I expected. When I got back to this guard room, the next fateful call came in. Hello, this is 
Sissel, are you there? Hello? Who's this? Oh, I'm not talking to you, officer. Anyway, if you're there, Sissel, come here immediately. I'll be waiting for you, if you make it in time, that is. Hey, wait a minute! That call, who was it from? I don't know, some weird call. Uh, but who? Will call an end to my dancing? Yeah, well, once you get going like that, I'm not gonna stop ya. It's a contest then! Which of us, which will stop first, my dancing or the turning of the planet? And he just gets faster! Yeah, good luck with that. On the other end of the telephone line, the scene that greets me tells me one simple fact. Cavanella. That our great escape plan has ended in failure. Never expected to see you here, Inspector Cavanella. I believe that's my line, my old friend. What were you doing here? I believe that's my line too, clearly. I came to attend your execution. They told me what time it was. Couldn't get into the chamber, so I was observing a moment of silence here. And when I looked up, my eyes full of tears, there you were, baby. It's just the way things turned out. I took part in what seemed like a fun game, and here I am. Here's what I wish, my old friend. I wish it was anybody but me who found you here. Cause now that I found you, man, I have to turn you in. You have to stay spotlessly clean after all. Thanks for coming. I wanted to say goodbye to you. As you can see, I guess I'm not going to be much help to you going to happen to you. Being executed tonight is just about the only thing on my schedule, it seems. Executed, huh? Death is pretty much meaningless to me. Anyway, I guess we'll be seeing each other again. By the way, there's something I'm looking for. Oh, that's right. You lost memory. Excuse me, sorry. You know things I'd like to know. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? In return for tonight's fun little game, is that it? I saw it, you know. That picture you were painting in your cell tonight. That was me. Which means you must know me. I'm very sorry, but... I can't talk to you about that now. What? why not? Because I... don't know your true face. My true face? I'm a detective. I can only talk about what I'm sure of. However, I can give you one lead, at least. A lead? What is it? A long time ago, I gave Lynn something to hold on to for me. It was a music box. If you ever come across it, I advise you to open it. It might jog your memory. That wooden box I found in Lynn's apartment. And that's the only help I can give you right now. That man pointing the gun at you, now. They say he's your good friend. We were, when we were in the detective division together. That was a long time ago. Now he's head to the Special Investigation Unit, top of the Elite. Getting ahead is the only thing he thinks about now. And that white coat of his is the symbol of his determination. His white coat. Or for somebody looking to get promoted to the top, what's the one thing they're afraid of most? A blot on their record, of course. Like a stain on a pure white coat. Who would promote a man with a coat covered in stains? If it was me, I'd go with a black coat that didn't show any of the stains. The world is full of excellent candidates. Even one mistake could end could be the end of a career. But everybody makes mistakes, right? Nevertheless, Cabanella has chosen the path of the white coat. And he'd do anything, anything at all, to hide his coat's shadows. 
like Sandy's good friend to the gallows. Because that's the right thing to do. I'm a condemned criminal, after all. And that's why he has that gun pointed at me right now. Is your execution really the right thing to do? I had a fair trial, and that's what was decided. No problem there. But still, this is the punishment that I should receive in order to bring a final close to that case and put it to rest forever. Lynn believes you're innocent. She's running around right now trying to prove it. Is that all you have to leave her with? No problem there? I... I was sentenced to death, to the death penalty for killing my wife, Alma. But to me, that's not all it was for. What do you mean that's not all it was for? I'm talking about something that happened even before this case. I stole somebody else's life. What? It was ten years ago. I'll never forget it. That day, I saved the life of a little girl. And I stole away the life of a man. Ten years ago. Life of a little girl. Could that little girl be... Lynn? She told you about that. Yeah, she said you were a hero. No, just calm down and drop that weapon. Stay back! If you come any closer... I'll shoot her! Ten years ago, in a certain park, a little girl was taken hostage. I was still young then. I didn't have any self-control. I remember asking myself at the time, Jowd, are you going to shoot this guy? And this is what I answered. Yeah, I'm going to shoot. My hand was shaking a little. If my hand slipped, the man might die. Even the little hostage girl was in danger. Nevertheless, that was my answer. Yeah, I'm going to shoot. And the man died. He took his life. Lynn never, was never told the outcome. She was so young at the time. I don't deserve to be called a hero. What I deserve is... execution. Ready to go? My arms are getting tired. You got a baby. Time for the big show of hauling you in. Oh, that's right. Just let me make one last phone call. That's a big favor to ask so casually, my old friend. Tell you what I'll do. I'll pretend I'm not watching. I'll be listening though, on that you can rely. Sizzle, you've got your own path to follow. You'd better hurry. My own path? Lynn is at the Justice Minister's office right now, right? It might not be a bad idea to say my final farewell to him, too. Hello? Everything's fine here! Is this the chicken kitchen? I'd like to request a delivery. Um, the chicken kitchen's next door. Goodbye. Hmm, it sounds like she's in some kind of trouble. It does, doesn't it? Go help her out, would you, Sissel? Sorry to keep you waiting, Inspector. Ready to go? Oh, before I forget... I have a little something for you. A present, if you will. There's nothing else like it, baby. If there's nothing else like it, don't throw it. What's this? A pocket watch? Considering my si my situation is the last thing in the world I need right now. Forgive me, man. Let's just say I'm not good at choosing presents. This is it, Sissel. Let me le let me just leave you with one thing. Don't trust other people's memories. Look for what you seek with your own eyes. I'll remember that.
They're gone. There's nothing left here. No hope, and no cores either. Without any cores, I can't follow after them. This is the end of my adventure. I feel pretty dejected, but... I guess I'd better go find Lynn. I'll follow the path Detective Jowd pointed out to me. The path to the Justice Minister's office, where Lynn went to try and stop the execution. And, uh, <laughs> something went wrong, that's for sure. Uh, chapter 10. Alright, I'm gonna end the episode here. Next episode, we'll be doing chapter 10. Till then, this is the Gamer Girl signing off. Bye bye.